hi everyone so welcome to another video and welcome to my room so today i'm gonna be talking about my july and august tbr or priority reads i'm just gonna combine july and august together because i know i'm a very slow reader and i can't just put like 10 books in the month of july because no i know myself too well that's not gonna happen i'm probably gonna pick up like one or two or three books this is me being delusional and ambitious thinking that i can prioritize and read these first I already have a pile of current reads, so um, okay, I need to stop. Let's start. Let's start with this video. So we have The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This is a memoir. I'm currently also reading a memoir. Let me show you guys. If you don't follow me in book talk, then you wouldn't know that I'd be reading this, or I am reading this. But if you do know, or you're on my TikTok or book talk account, then you know I'm reading reading Lolita in Tehran by Azar Nafisi. This is a memoir. And I'm reading it really slowly, but me reading it slowly, I realized that I appreciate it more. I consume the, the words better. So this is a very interesting current read because these women, multiple women, are in this sort of literature class or book club. And they talk about different novels that they like and appreciate. They have a lot of literature discussion. And this is based in the Islamic Republic. There's a lot of horrific things and really sad realities that they face the main books they read about is lolita they also have the great gatsby they talk about jane austen then there's a james here but i don't know if there it's the right james that i know it's just james so i don't know which james we're talking about okay yeah i don't know they're talking about the wars in the islamic republic talks about the narrative they have there and then how a woman lives in such a setting so i'm currently reading that so far enjoying it going back to my tbr i've been in my memoir era remember knowing the summary but now i do not recall what happened but basically it's about this family yeah their parents are like not meant to be parents they're not meant to have children because they're not good at it dad's a drunk the mom doesn't want any responsibility of raising a family so the children the walls children had to learn to take care of themselves i already want to get through this because i heard only good stuff about it and how i guess devastating i don't know if that's the right word but yeah devastating okay next is in the dream house by carmen maria Machado. i probably butchered that i don't know anything about this I did buy it because of the cover. I also did buy it because I heard a lot of good stuff from book talkers that I really enjoy and listen and trust. Yeah, I don't know anything about this memoir. Um, a relationship gone bad and a bold dissection of the mechanisms and cultural representations of psychological abuse. It's deep, dark topics. Again. So on a lighter note, we have Alone With You in the Ether, Olivia Blake. I always thought this was Olivia, not Olivia. I just found out now. This was gifted to me. Thank you so much. Can't find like a paperback copy and it's always a hardbound copy, which is, you know, on the pricier side. I'm very happy I got this and was gifted this. Don't know much about it. All I know is it's a love story and it's sad. There's like bees, something about bees. <laughs> wow, I'm top three best booktubers. Next we have Luster by Raven Lalani. I know absolutely nothing. I bought it and have it on my TBR for the longest of time because the title intrigued me. The editions, like the book covers, intrigued me so much. So there was this one and there's like another one which is like colorful. But look at this hardbound copy. This is secondhand by the way. Look at that color. I know absolutely nothing about it. If you know me and my channel, I literally don't know anything. <laughs> um, I don't read summaries, but I can read for you now. Uh, I kind of don't want to, so yeah. I think there's like dark topics as well. Here we have Bad Fruit by Ella King. This was gifted to me by Fully Book. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, I literally don't know anything about this as well. I've never even heard about it, but the cover is stunning. Like what? I really love these type of covers that really intrigue the the audience is that right the person i think it's about a mother relationship yeah like a mother daughter i don't know much about it that's all i know because i for the first time ever i've heard this book and title over on book talk bookstagram as well because one of my mutuals commented that they also have this on their tbr and they wanted to hear my thoughts about it after i read it but um <laughs> um i'll read it soon <laughs> so we have another book gifted to me yeah i want to read this violent delights i am not a fantasy fan i mean it's okay like i appreciate 
all the effort that comes with writing fantasy because man that is hard i just i'm just not in the fantasy mood for the longest time funny enough i started reading because of dystopian fantasy young adult books those were like yeah i was 12 and the world the book reading world book community was thriving on like fantasy dystopian books like divergent maze runner hunger games and all that yeah marie lu oh my gosh marie lu now i think i outgrew it for some reason yeah i have this and i heard good stuff about it Th this is um by chloe gong i also watch chloe gong's book talk i don't know anything about it all i know it's like a romeo and juliet retelling i think i think i think i think if i'm wrong please correct me and then my current read right now and also the book i want to read for july and august is my dark vanessa i am currently on page 22 yeah i'm not gonna annotate this i only have this it's because it was the closest bookmark i could find okay very dark topics it has um lolita lolita by Vla vladimir nabokov vibes i mean the dedication is literally for the real life dolores hayes and vanessa ways whose stories have not yet been heard believed or understood like my heart aches i also did try reading lolita like as you can see i did annotate a couple pages and then i stopped because i couldn't i can't i just yeah but i'll try again okay i'll try again really i am planning to reread a little life i don't know yet if i want to do it soon this month or august the problem is i want another copy because a copy that i have is breaking like i'll show you here i bought this book same time i started my book talk account so yeah i didn't have proper tabs i used any tabs i could find oh it's raining that's strong yeah it's like falling apart it really is but i kind of like the vibe oh the rain is so strong I really want to reread this. It's been two or three years that I've read it, but my heart still aches. It really does still ache, but I might be doing a reading vlog. So yeah, I don't think I'll do that on July or August, but within the year. Yeah, these are all the books that I'm going to be reading for July and August, or basically my priority TBR. I'm going to prioritize these books. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. You think it's funny, I'm just trying to be a man. I wanna show you in the best way that I can that I'm so in love with you. Try to be serious, but you can have it too. It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt when we've just been friends since the day we met. I don't know what to do. Cause how can I try to cross all the lines?